back, even in the newer versions of the legend. And uh, started writing a song involving her character and wrote like, oh, a verse and a chorus, and it wasn't going anywhere until I started learning, listening to the songs of Dave Carter and the late great songwriter Dave Carter. And he was too, like me, fascinated by those legends and not at all afraid to reset them and recast them in really unlikely times and places, but they still work. That's Who also amazing. put Lancelot in the Old West with Yodel on it? <laughs> and have it work. So I started thinking about this and I decided to try rewriting this song, but this time it wrote itself in the first person and it's from the viewpoint of Arthur himself. And it's reset rather than in the 11th or 12th century like most of the legends. It's in around the 5th century, which was the time in Great Britain and all over Europe when women were losing their civil rights. And yes, I know at that time it would have been Wales. Most of the people we play for don't even know where England is. <laughs> so that's why I said England in the song, but I, I know better, and probably you do too, but it scans better than Wales, so it stays there. Yeah. Somebody once said the U.S. is such good friends with Canada because if we get pissed off at somebody in the world, they can show us where it is on the map. <laughs> <laughs> also has a really, really nasty villain whom you will love hating. This is Susan's first chick flick song. <laughs> I did, did not intend to write a chick flick song, but that's how it turned out, I guess. <laughs>
Here 